you know, this, is, this has been a really interesting thing. And actually, we're in the midst of sort of evolving how we do this. Because, I mean, when we were five people sat around a table, then like culture and values were something instinctive. They mm -hmm. weren't something that actually you needed to think about and document. You know, I'd really question any startup that under 20 people have to write down what their culture is and what their values is. Um, because if it's not instinctive with those first you know, 20 people, then you've got the wrong 20 people. But when you get over 100 people and you're scaling and you're bringing more and more people into the organization, then, I mean, really defining uh, not only what you stand for with it, when it comes to your, your values, but fundamentally, what is the vision of the company? Where are you going? Uh, you know, what is the mission? How are you actually going to make that happen? Uh, and then looking for opportunities to really sort of reinforce that. So for us, the, the values that we've, we've set out, um, how do we reinforce them in the way in which managers are having conversation with people? How do we, we use a tool called 15.5, which actually allows us to, uh, to sort of tap into a kind of a pulse check of the business on a weekly basis. And, and actually the, the ways in which people say thank you to other people for good work that they've done through high fives, through things like 15.5, then starting to uh, align those to the values of the organization. Um, anytime any of the executive is standing up in front of anybody, we're doing it with that framework in mind. Um, and even down to, if I'm honest with you, like the values that we have, you know, things like passion, things like positivity, turn into very quickly stickers and t-shirts and all these types mm -hmm. of things, which actually, when people buy into the values when they buy into the company, are things that they're proud to wear. Um, and that's, um, you know, for us, it's almost using, to the point of virality earlier on for customers, you have to work as hard to make sure that you're uh, your employees work, believe in the thing that you're doing mm -hmm. as you do your end consumers because they're going to be the people who are ultimately are going to be dealing with those customers, your end customers, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and I've worked in a few organizations where I didn't quite believe in the product. And if you don't believe in the product, you're never going to be able to get other people to believe.